Jim Saney, Baby Brainy, and Emily Moore. Those are the facts. <laughs> What is it, Blaine? Pinky, these two mice. It can't be. What? These mice are my parents. <gasps> no! But I thought your mother's name was Desiree. Hey, this is moving. Papa! 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 Papa. 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 Oh, my. Pinky, look, my face is leaking. You're not leaking, Brain. You're... you're crying, Charles. I am not. <laughs> this is pathetic, Pinky. I can't communicate with them. I... I don't even remember them. And... and I've changed so much, they don't know me. Because you've matured. No, because my brain has been altered by electrochemical experiments. Where you are, brain? In the field, playing. How old are you? Just a child. Not a care in the world. <laughs> Chased, hunted down like some sort of rabid dog. Terrified, I run home to my parents. They rush to my aid, but my assailant is overpowering. I was taken from my home and sent to a research facility. As I entered those doors, the carefree innocence of my youth was snuffed out like a candle, replaced with unremitting darkness. Lab-coated goons tried to break our spirits and brainwash us into submission. Others emerged from the experience. Not quite all there. Not that! <laughs> Slightest insolence resulted in punishment, both swift and brutal. Please, sir. I'd like some more. <gasps> more? You want more? I never met a man I didn't meet. <laughs> the problem with Congress is, they're all liars. Ah, make it stop! And how did that make you feel? Angry. Like I wanted to... to take over the world. Mm, emotional displacement. Obviously you were missing the comfort of your home. Describe the scene when you were taken away. Describe your home. It's warm. It's inviting. It's a tin can. There's something on the side of it. A picture. A picture of what? No. No. I, I mean, I, I can't tell. Yes, you must. It's a picture of... of... the world. And then they drag me away. And you want your world back. It's simple. Yes. What? Oh, oh, and, and, he had a very strange tattoo. A tattoo? What kind? It was a circle and, and, an A, like I'm a, a... Like this? No. That's it exactly. Bahrain. What is that? What does it mean? At one time, Snowball and I were as close as brothers. We're going way back, before I even knew you, Pinky. The glorious days of my childhood. Oh, I'll bet you were as cute as a bug brain. Yes, Pinky, though it may be difficult to fathom, I too was once adorable. Snowball and I became fast friends. I could always make him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but the carefree days of youth would soon come to a crashing halt. We were 
were a mouse and a hamster, barely alive. They said they could make us better, faster, smarter. Malfunction. Well, whack it. <clears throat> Afterwards, I quickly embraced my destiny of planetary conquest. But poor Snowball had only evil in mind. <clears throat> Soon, the friend with whom I'd shared so much bah! was gone. <laughs> Take the one with the head shaped like a Volkswagen, he'll do. Subject 3 Alpha 5 9. Prep the stunning plate. My hopes that this stunning plate was a particularly sumptuous cheese platter were also misplaced. The idea is, once we remove the electronic stimulus, he still won't go for the cheese. Learned helplessness. All right, cut the power. From that day hence, I vowed I would be the one in control. A mouse like any other. I wanted only to nibble, to scratch, to fill my pouch with pellets. Life was simple, uncomplicated, for a time. And then... Ah, uh, all right, this is day one. Acme Labs, experiment uh, 419GJ528 slash 51 hyphen B. Otherwise known as Project Brain. I was gonna say that. Purpose of experiment, to cerebrally enhance two simple mammalian subjects. Through cellular manipulation and biogenetic alteration. Subject A was chosen due to its unusually large cranial capacity, despite its ill temper. Ow! Subjects were subjected to intense radiation in the biogenetic enhancer and observed for several hours. No significant changes noted. Though subject A did seem to be even more ill-tempered. Owie! I thought they'd never leave. Look at these ridiculous calculations. Biological recombinant algorithmic intelligence nexus indeed. Why, they have less intelligence in their collective brains than I have in my... in my... Pinky. Yes? What? You called my name. Pinky. I did? Tell me, just for curiosity's sake, how exactly do you know that that's your name? Um, well, I answered, didn't I? No! I've don't be ridiculous. We can't name ourselves. We don't have the requisite cerebral capac... Wait just a moment. Yes, I am actually speaking. Verbalizing previously primitive instinctual responses. Well, there you go then. Point. Project Brain. It was a success. I am a mind. A brain. I am the brain. We'll have to present this guy to the committee and hope for the best. What'll I do with little stupid here? I'll let him keep the other one company. I mean, what else is he good for? Narf, this is what all this equipment and three million dollars produced? A mouse that can say Narf? We're almost certain that we can produce a polysyllabic mouse within the next 10 to 12 years, sir. Tops! What about that other one? Oh, uh, he, uh, he seems to have gotten lost. Narf! Well, what do you know? He was locked in the sensory deprivation tank. Hmm. I uh, wonder what effect that had on him. Ow! Oh, that's it. All funding for Project Brain is hereby cut off. I failed, Pinky. The sensory deprivation tank caused me to temporarily revert to my primitive state. I'll find some way to show them that I'm not to be included in this menagerie of failure. One day they will all appreciate my genius.
Wouldn't it be lovely if you ruled the world, Brain? Then you could make everyone wear very shiny pants and... Don't be absurd, Pinky. How could I... Wait a moment. That's it. Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Brain. But then I would have to know what pondering is, wouldn't I? <laughs>